Welcome to Mountain Man East. In this video, we would learn how to create a template and then we would import the template properties to a new document. In FrameMaker, there's no separate file extension for a template. It uses the same .fm. So let's first create a document. Let's click on Portrait. And once we do that, we, we have to save this document. While saving it, we can save it as a .fm, the normal file extension for a frame maker as I said there's no distinction for a template so let's name it the name is my template for demo so there are different saving options as I mentioned .fm .mif but we would save it as .fm now we'll click on save so we have saved the template now we would change the layout properties in this template we won't uh, make changes in the styles we would leave the style as is however we would make changes in the layout properties so we would first change the pagination we make it as a double-sided document with the right as the first page um, you can leave these properties as is and click on set we are done with this now we would further change the layout we would go to page layout page size we would leave it in the page size as A4 however we can make the modifications here now it all depends upon your own requirement we are done with it now we would further make few more changes we would make the column layout changes so we would leave the column as number as one however we can change the margins from the edge of the page let's make it 0 0.4 and this are in terms of points however you can make changes in terms of pixels or centimeters now how you do that I would be showing you in a different video okay now we can uh, go ahead and uh, click on update entire flow so the, you can see the margin has changed now this is a two-sided document so in order to check that let's try to sc scroll the page and you can see this is the right sided right side page and the below is the left side page since we have made the layout previously it's left side page so now let's go to the master page in the master page we can make different changes in the document like we can add the header and footer it's like a master slider in powerpoint where you can change the properties so here here are two master pages one for left one for right now we can add the header information We are adding the header information in the right side of the page. Now we would also add the page numbers as well. We will just change the alignment since it's a right sided page. And now let's go ahead and add, add page numbers. So go to headers and footer insert page there's a hashtag icon which says it's a page number and you can see it once you go to the body page so you're adding the page number in the right sided master page as well now here we go it's been done so what we can do now is go to the body page and see how it looks oh okay we have to add the page the word page as well this again depends upon how you want to show your page numbers in the document now we are in the body page and you can see here the page numbers are displayed Okay, you can save the document as a phone now. 
now we have saved the template let's open a new document we would make it as portrait and we would apply the template properties in this document it's a new document so in order to do that go on file and uh, you can first open the template in a new tab so this is my template here it comes this is the template and that's the blank document so in order to import the properties from my template for demo template to untitled document what we have to do is go to the untitled document and uh, paste the text and you can see the difference now let's go ahead and import format this is the import format dialog box that would ask you if you want to input all the properties from my template document so here is my template so we are ready to import once you import it we can import all the properties or we can uncheck if you don't want certain properties not to be imported so let's click on import um, We'll leave the other option as is so let's click on import and uh, you get this usual window let's click on ok now you can see the page number is being reflected the headers and footers reflected the margin is also decreased so that's the way you go ahead and import the template so it imports the layout and even the style in this video we haven't made any changes to the style so we cannot show how the style has got imported but that's the basic way you imp import the properties of a template to a new document so hopefully this document or this video would be helpful for you thank you for watching